All right, guys, so we just, Ro this is all Robbie. Robbie just spotted a, a deer, and it's, it's a legal tall fork. And we watched this deer move across the field, and he met up with two or three other bucks. One of them is a super wide eight point, uh, real nice buck. Uh, we think it's the same one that we spotted yesterday, and we just figured that the one that came up when we rattled was actually a different buck altogether. Um, they look like they're heading towards that island. We're gonna go and try and get in front of them because we're afraid if they get to the island before we do, they're gonna smell our scent and get boogered up and go run away. But they're chilling in a ditch right now and hopefully they stay there for a little bit and we can get in front of them. That's the plan. But there's three freaking, three or four shooter, there's four, there's there's four, four shooter, shooter bucks. bucks any one of them would do so if we can get in that island and stay put we're in with a good shot a good chance i shouldn't say shot but i am freaking exhausted and i'm feeling it but we're gonna do our best here That is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Alright guys, before this video gets really intense, I just really quickly wanted to let you guys know that Danny and I are going to be hosting two of our Patreon members on a hunt. Danny and I will be the cameramen and those Patreon members will be the hunters. So if you want to come out and hunt with the Swamp and Stomp crew, make sure that you are a part of our Patreon community. All you got to do is click this link right here to become a member. Go do that. Let's get back to the video. We're just going to kneel down and when they get close enough. Yeah.
just shot him. He did? He just shot him. Did he really? Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Well, get ready. Don't move. shot a different buck. I think he just died. I think I just seen the bushes crush. Uh, yeah, the yeah the big buck ran off. He's a. Why are you shaking, son? Because <laughs> that shit fired me up. We snuck up, she caught us, they took off. They were at 40 yards. Then we came back. Where is it? And okay. dude, that rattle, it works. No es foto, es video. Ahora cuando nos vienen, vamos a Sí, pero no le cogí la cara a él. And we see the other eight that was with them, and a little, the little four sparring next to the pond. So we're looking at them. I get off the truck to go stalk them, and when I'm like 50 yards into the woods, I glass into the into the pond to look at the deer, and behind him I see the big one. My dad calls me right away. Oh, look at the pond. There's a monster inside the pond. I'm like, yeah, I know, I see him. But we I'm, saw you going. We thought you already knew about the big one. I didn't know about it. I wasn't able to kill one of the little ones. So I see the big one inside the pond, and I'm like, that's it. The one I want to go after is the big one. Yeah. And then I remembered, I'm, I'm looking at him, and 
it was like the story you told me yesterday. Oh, we're looking at the little one, and from the abyss, this one pops up in the middle of the swamp. So I remember you guys. So then I called you. I, te- I <laughs> Instagrammed you. I'm, I'm he's like blowing me up, and I'm like, I can't have a doe like in 50 yards for me. So I'm like, I'm like, call me, call me, call me. So I'm like, hey, listen, bro, I'm on the big buck. Are you guys? Where are you guys at? And then you told me you were in the island. Fog was thick, so I don't think you can see him from where you were. No, so not, not at that point. I'm yeah. belly calling. He came in range. The belly crawling is hence why I missed so many shots before I killed mine. We'll get to that later. So, <laughs> I start stalking them and I get to a point that I run out of cover, but all the deer are in the pond in the open and there's two on top of like a little berm. Where they're I'm hitting on. that scrape. They, they yeah. were hitting that oak. They yeah, were, that little oak they're scraping on that. So, I'm just, I literally put my bow down, put everything down, and I'm literally sitting watching the whole show and I'm telling my dad, and I, as soon as they come over the other side of the berm, I'm going to get closer. I have that little three-point or a four-point the little the messed little, up thing. That little, yeah. yeah, he's out still in the open, so I can't move on him. Move in on him. So then, the buck, the big buck starts chasing the doe. I cut into the into the thicket, so now I have cover, and I'm belly crawling. As I'm belly crawling, I'm putting weight on my bow, and my third axis shifted on my sight. <laughs> so I noticed it when I drew back, but I was already drawing back. I noticed my sight was off because the picture on the on the sight, I saw the sight pushed out. So I'm. I'm crawling, I'm crawling, I'm crawling, I get to some thick stuff and I see this guy on the outside of the flag pond and I know the big buck is inside the flag pond so I literally just stood up inside the dog fennel and I started walking towards him and I can see my dad to my left and I started walking towards where I last seen him and on one of those when I look over he's looking at me and I'm 40, 45 yards maybe but he's looking dead at me. I was watching you. So I drew back on him and I put my 40 yard pin like right here where the neck and the, and the back meet. So if it drops, it hits him in the chest. If not, it goes straight in there. And when I shot, I shot eight inches left. Who'd you shot? He did. Who'd you shot? Did he really? Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe nine inches left. So then he takes off running, <laughs> and I'm standing in the middle of the thing, and then this guy runs too, but then the big buck starts messing with the doe again. So they kind of calm down. So I just start walking. At this point, I'm like, screw it. I'm going to push it towards Mark and Robbie. So I just start walking in the middle of the open. I'm just cruising right. And I get to the big buck. The big buck chases the doe whatever, and this guy just looks at me and says, I'm going to commit suicide. So, <laughs> he can't shoot me anyway. I'm just gonna yeah, go he's going to miss me. So he's coming to me and I'm ranging on him and I'm, I'm, I'm like 60, 50. I'm waiting for him to stop, like scared. I'm, I'm, I'm like, he's going to spook and he's going to stop and look at me. I'm going to have to fling an arrow. 40, 35. At that point, I was like, screw it. I knocked my arrow. I drew back on him. Mind you, I had moved my housing a little bit because my axe was off. So I shoot and I shot behind him. So I grab my sight again, oh my God. move it. Meanwhile, we're walk back tuning. Because I was in a, yeah, yeah, we're walk back tuning. We're setting second and third axis in this process. Bring a bow press with you to the woods. So a lot of arrows, apparently. And when he told you. So in the process, I move it because I'm thinking I'm going to have to shoot him again at like 60, 65 when he stops. He turns right back again and comes right back to me again. I'm like, this is stupid. This deer, he's going to die. So I didn't even range him anymore. He was coming and he like he had no care in the world. Like he, I didn't exist. Mind you, I'm in the middle of the open. Like I had no cover. I'm standing like this, no face mask on. My grunt call over here. I'm just like, so then he comes out and I'm mad at him trying to stop him. So I put the, the, the shot in front of the shoulder and I, I let him too much and I hit him in the center of the shoulder, but he was kind of quartering to me. Then he takes off running, does a huge loop. So I freak out because I see he's not going down and I see him kind of stable up. So I called Mark and Robbie, I'm like, hey, if he comes your way, empty the quiver on him. And then they told me, like, no, I think he just fell here. Hey. He's there right was. in front of us. Right Meanwhile, you guys are watching this whole thing going on. Yeah, well, I had my eyes on the big buck because, like, he was over, you, you know, You weren't seeing what, what he was Oh, I didn't see that go down. Wow. He just He just said it to me. He's like, Eric just shot another buck. And I was like, which one? Because <laughs> I'm watching this buck, and there's a buck over here and a buck over here. I'm like, which buck did he shoot? <laughs> You know, uh, and then like literally as I'm like saying, I'm like, which one? And then I'm like, oh, shit, here's a buck. You know, like and I, I get ready and I'm like, the buck's acting kind of funny, you know, like, <laughs> and we could hear him, like, you can hear him trying to breathe and like, you can hear Marlin. him like, it's just like, <gasps> and I'm like, what the hell is that noise? You know, and then I see him like coming through and then, yeah, he just did a little front flip roll thing, I guess, and that was it. Wow. 
And meanwhile, like, oh, wild way right, to end like the right before, <laughs> right before you shot this one, that goofy looking thing, he came running by at 70 yards, and I thought he was going to go into the cypress. And I'm standing on the edge of the cypress, like there's a little trail that goes across mm -hmm. right there. I thought he was going to come straight in, so I. Like, it was really nerve-wracking because I had that giant buck over here, and I'm focused over here because I'm like, that giant buck's 100 yards away. Like, so I watched this little guy come, and I was expecting him to go in, and I was going to get a shot at, like, 30 yards. And, uh, and, and I don't know where the hell he went. All right, guys, that's all we got for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure that you're subscribed. We're going to be dropping a lot of videos in the near future. The season is in full swing, so we should have a bunch of deer hunting content here in Florida coming up. We're also going out of state, so there's going to be some other stuff going on too. We're pretty excited to announce that we've got a few new people that have joined us on the channel that are going to be filming their hunts, so there might be even more content coming out this season. Until next week, stay safe out there, guys.